As part of my Build to Rent series, uh, I'm today joined by Brendan Geraghty, who is CEO of the UK Apartment Association. Uh, They are a member organisation of a large proportion of the Build to Rent operators. Brendan, morning to you. Good to see you. Thank you for joining me. Um, I appreciate it. Now, the UK Apartment Association, can you just... Can you just spell it out for for our for our viewers and our listeners? What what do you get up to at the UK Apartment Association? Well, really, we represent the the built to rent industry, which is a nascent industry. It really it's ten years old, but it's 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 still very very young compared to the property sector in the round. And it's a very broad church. We have everybody from investors and lenders at at that end through to developers and advisors, architects some contractors and then operators, of course, who manage them and operate the buildings and and then the supply chain, the guys who provide the bricks and the furniture and and whatever else needs to go into the building. So our job is to represent their interests in this new industry, which is growing rapidly Mm. and becoming um, uh, is going to become a force or a major player within the residential industry in the UK. And yeah, it's an exciting place to be. I think it is isn't it, uh, really exciting, which is actually why I did this series on Built to Rent, because I didn't know much about it. I'd heard about it, probably the same as lots of people. Um, and I wanted to get out and, and explore and understand and, and, and see some of it. But for those who 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 aren't familiar with, with the concept, can you just um, explain how Built to Rent works? Built to Rent is really characterised by a consumer centricity. To some extent, and what I mean by that is that the, the the buildings are often large, so there'll be sort of 50 to 100 units or homes in any one block, or sometimes up to 500, but there's a single landlord. And because there's a single landlord, it's a much easier place to manage. And with that comes a number of things which differentiate built to rent from um, typical private rental stock in, in the marketplace. One of them is the quality of the properties are generally much, much better than you would find, even in the new build for sale markets. There is an absolute um, dedication to professional management of that building and the people within that building. So there's a care factor, which is very, very strong. And there's also a need to create community because it's the community that, that and a flourishing community that actually makes these places great places to live. Um, You may have a great apartment or a a great home, but it's a great place to live because of the community. Mm. And all of those things combine really to usher into residential real estate through built to rent consumer culture. And consumer culture has not been part of the housing sector, the residential sector ever before. Not really. There's been a lot of business to business stuff, but not a, you know, B2B stuff, but not a lot of of business to customer. So build to rent is characterized by really un- looking to understand the customer. We call them customers, not tenants, because right. we know that if we, you know, in very simple terms, if we can keep our customers happy, they will stay stay loyal and loyal customers are good for business. Yeah, And, and it's as simple as that. And I suppose it's quite attractive to think um, all of your neighbors, everybody in the block are tenants, everybody's in the same boat. And, um, it, do, do the people that build the blocks also run them? Sometimes. So there are some larger organizations out, out there who've been in the game for a while and they 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 develop and operate. Okay. Then there's others who are what we call third party operators who manage on behalf of investors or um, um, pension funds. You know, one of the other characteristics of Build to Rent is that it's our it's our pension funds that are yeah. it's the institutional market of of capital, which invest very differently to sort of the private equity side of things. And they're looking for long term hold. So um, another important characteristic is that because the property as a whole is held in the long term, you know, in excess of 30 years, it makes sense for those, uh, for those, for those landlords, those operators of built to rent to really look after the building and really look after the people in that building, as opposed to the sales market, where in very simple terms, once you've bought it, it's your baby and you've got to look after it. So yeah. again, that, 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 I wouldn't say a duty of care, but a culture of care of both the building and the customer is very yeah. prevalent. Good point. Good point. Um, one of the things that appeals to me is is well, you, you just explained it. The, the kind of you don't have security. You do have security of tenant. Well, you have you, you can rent that. You can you you can um, 
uh, put down roots. You can send your kids to the school. You can make friends. You can bed into the community, knowing that you're not going to get kicked out because as long as you pay your rent, you're in it for the long. T- the landlord isn't going to sell, so you're there, and and you can stay as long as you like. Hundred percent. I mean these 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 properties, these 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 blocks of flats or these houses, because now single family housing is the new frontier and built to rent. They're not going to get broken up and sold as individual units. Yeah. If you know, if, if the investors sell, they'll sell the entire estate as yes. one lot, as it were, and then you get another built to rent operator who will manage it in a in a very similar way. But what's really important and a distinguishing feature is this ability to put down roots. It it. The, particularly in the family um in, in the single family market the 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 developers or the the operators of those products want people to stay for the long term and this is new in renting i mean it's not new in the there's always been long term renting but it's 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 been reinvented if you like and represented to the market in these terms you know is it done in other parts of the world or has it been done for longer than it's being done here in the uk Yes, well, the sort of model that we look at is very mature in 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 the U.S. Uh, called the multifamily market, and so that's um, and and what they really pushed was the customer care piece. So the customer care culture that that exists in built to rent is is really we we we've learned a lot from 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 the Americans, and they and they do customer care very very well. Mm-hmm. But long term rental has been a very established. Um, model in Europe generally, um, mm. um, and, and a lot of product in a lot of homes in Germany, in all of Europe, are rented yeah. and rented for life. So it's, but it's it's an arm, it's still in a bit of an arm's length relationship with the landlord. And what okay. built to rent d- does, and in a lot of and, and through the multifamily um, economy in the states, is is bring that relationship between the landlord and the and and the resident, the customer, much much closer, and 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 the benefits are there to be seen. In Europe, um, is it institutional investors that own the properties, or, or is it individual landlords? It's a mix. Right. It's a mix. But what what is happening in the market is that institutional investors are becoming increasingly interested in homes. Typically, they would have invested in shopping centers and offices and all that sort of thing. And yeah. In the post-COVID world, the, 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 that investment market is shifting. And what's great about institutional money coming into the residential sector is that they bring with it a great fear of reputational damage. Okay. So, they, they, so they, their approach is yeah. a long-term, thoughtful approach because they yeah. do not want to be found out to be misbehaving or doing something which which yeah. causes problems so I, i'm not going to ask you to name names but are you seeing kind of brands in the built to rent rent sector that are running established and successful developments communities across the country we are seeing that now again this come, goes back to the consumer world and you know brand is fundamentally an emotional language that that is wrapped around a product and, and we engage with yeah. it in those terms yeah uh, um, so what? So built to rent as as a word is a very technical word. It's an awful consumer word. It doesn't give any clues away. So the industry recognizes that it. I don't know how it got into the public domain quite in the way that it did. But we, our view is that brands will emerge and the concept okay. will be sold through brands. So we do have brands in in the market now. They're emerging and there's and there's more and more coming through. Right. And what's interesting is to look at what those brands stand for. And see what the, the proposition is. When I I'm an architect and I worked as an architect, I used to have this a concept called brand before building, which was work out the proposition, the offer to the market, and then you build your building around that. And to some extent, that's what's happening now. Various there's 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 various which are about affordable uh, affordable homes, and so there's not a lot of bells and whistles. It's quite a stripped down offer, it's yeah. still rented, it's yeah. still got the service, and then there's there's the higher end pieces which have got. Yeah. The cinema rooms and, and all the rest of it. Look, the brands are coming up with different propositions which are about a value, a value alignment as okay. well as a product offer. Um, I wanted to hear your thoughts on because it's, it's a couple of the ones that I've seen, albeit in London, they, they came with incredible facilities, um, cinemas and dining rooms that you could hire, and and vast, great communal workspaces and gyms. And I mean, it was really, really impressive. Presumably that comes with a cost, a premium rent. But you say there are opportunities that don't have all the bells and whistles. 
yeah so the most the market again is 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 young so yeah. very often in these cases you know the first products that come in will be higher end with you know to define the opportunity to define the product and now we're seeing a great diversification uh -huh. and segmentation of that product so uh -huh. the, the 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 built to rent rents are often as much as 10 percent higher than the rest of the market but uh -huh. when we do our surveys of the customers they see great value in that because there may be things thrown in like Wi-Fi and that Wi-Fi will be a very stable Wi-Fi proposition. There may yeah. be, you know, built to rent um, uh, allowed pets into to, uh, buildings pretty much from the get-go. Now that's becoming more commonplace across the whole rental economy. Yeah. And the, 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 so the value, whilst there may be a, a slight premium in rent, the value proposition is consistently recorded as being um, very, very positive and, and highly prized and, mm -hmm. and goes, goes, a long, long way, or more, and more than makes up for the difference in price. And and there's a lot of evidence to suggest that now. I, I like that terminology, highly prized. <laughs> it may cost more, but it's highly prized. No, but I understand what you're saying. You're you're getting more, and it's things that you would want anyway. Whether that's a gym membership or Wi-Fi, you're going to pay for them somewhere. So actually, the, one something that came out from my experience was that the sense of community that the developers were really, really focused on on creating and seemingly successful at doing so. Well, indeed. I mean, we all need community. So that's a human need. And what happens in built to rent, and, and, and very often that, that, that human, that belonging that we crave that comes from community takes years and years and years to develop in, in a, say, yeah. a standard, a standard, you know, a traditional community. And in built to rent, they have to sort of short circuit that or or, or, or reduce the time in yeah. order to get the value um the value of it sort of effectively going so the way that that's done is that there will often be curated events going on themes you know obviously around yeah. christmas or easter but you know summer and summer barbecues and 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 encouraging um encouraging the community of of of, of residents to come up with their own thing so you know it, it, at the olympic park they the, one of the community groups that came up was homework clubs which makes complete sense, and and they provided a room for the kids to go, and and okay. one of them, one or two of them, the parents who were around would then supervise homework whilst the others were working. That was never thought of by the operators or the designers. Right. That is something which came from the community. But the important thing is, it was encouraged, and there were facilities to allow it to happen. Yeah, and and that just builds builds relationships. Yeah, builds relationships. Whether you're having a coffee or a drink or playing squash or doing homework club it, it builds relationships within your immediate community which i think is really special um just turning if we may for a minute the the, the private rented sector is is under real pressure at the moment and, and i personally am worried about what's happening there um but it's true that the majority of private rented sector stock uh, is in suburban areas and, and yet most built to rent appear to be in very much in urban areas. So do, do, do you feel, it, it, and this is perhaps difficult to answer because as you've been clear to say, built to rent is in, is in its early stages, but do you see it spreading? Because there seems to be, I'm worried there's a bit of a disconnect coming. Um, in, the, in the status quo right now, yes, there's more urban built to rent than suburban built to rent. Now, the urban built to rent is largely located on, lo on location and, and, and amenity proposition, close to stations, and 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 it's about convenience yeah. in that sense. The, pro the, the, the project, the, the market is now moving to single family homes. I forget how many there are at the moment. They're in the tens, it's in the low tens of thousands um, rather than much more, but it is going to be a massive market yeah and the capacity for built to rent homes in the uk generally is in the is around 2 million homes how many how many have we got at the moment do you know at the moment um what it's uh, I had this at the tip of my tongue as i knew you'd ask um it's uh it's about 80,000 completed homes okay the the pipeline is north of 200,000 for the next year next two, one to two yeah. three years but the capacity is 2 million gosh and at, at full maturity, which is probably a thirty-year play, yeah, so we we should try and get to that number. And and 
when you look at it in those terms and you look at the different types of products, so we have the blocks of flats, which are obviously for urban areas. But if you if we now look at how uh, single family housing is growing, there's nowhere in the mm-hmm. UK that is that is not a good um, place for built to rent if there is a community that is in existence that needs homes. Yeah. The viability of it from a business perspective will have to w- work yeah. out, but there's nowhere where I would say that built to rent couldn't be in the UK. Awesome. So it's not a geographically limited um, thing. So we've got 80,000 units completed and, and, and unoccupied, but there are another 200,000 units under construction at the moment. So it's going to look very different even in the next two years, isn't it? It's, this is this is this is big stuff. This is big stuff, Brendan. What do you have any? What are the challenges of of your industry of your world? The challenges are there's three challenges I would say mainly. One is the consumer doesn't really understand the proposition yet, yeah. but we're working hard on that, and we are increasingly now looking at be, being consumer facing as an industry. Maybe not the UKA, but the industry, and and recognizing the importance of that customer dialogue, that customer conversation, the brand, the the brand dynamics. Okay, that is a big thing. The other side of it is getting government to understand what built to rent is, because there's still a lot of um, not people are not one hundred percent sure whether this is just a a, a, a sort of a, a, a bad rental model or a really really good rental model. Okay. Uh, government is sitting; it, it's not very clear on that itself. So, so we need to do a job and advocate on of advocacy to to mm-hmm. government and really get them on board with the proposition. And mm-hmm. that is institutional money that comes with that institutional institutional capital culture of Got thoughtfulness it. and care. Um, and and the other side is the planning system. The planning system is perhaps the immediate blocker to many, many thousands of homes being built. And in, in, a, in a world in a, in, with the housing crisis being as severe as it is, built to rent can make a very, very mm. um, quick uh, contribution to that because we don't build at the pace of sales like the sales market. Yes. We build quickly because yes. we want to get people in the, 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 the quicker the place is occupied, the quicker the rent um, is starting to be uh, um, generated and the, the quicker the model starts to work. So we want to move in quickly and, and planning is a major problem for us. So there's going to be no land banks in, in the build to rent. If you get permission, you want to build as quick as you can. And the evidence evidence that 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 our developers, our investors don't hang around is very, very clear, you know. Brendan, um, really interesting. I wish you all the best. So Brendan, CEO of the UK Apartment Association, they are a membership organisation um, who look after a large proportion of the built to rent operators. Really, really interesting what you're doing. Um, one to watch. I wish you all the best. Thanks for your time, Brendan. Much appreciated. My pleasure. Thank you very much.